Welcome back, Hornings, to more Neverwinter Nights. Oh, he really near death now. on heaven's door, bitch! By the way, the difficulty has been on very difficult the entire time. I can't go any higher. But I just wanted you to know that, uh, it automatically it tries to scale to your level since you import your if you import your character from the previous game. Uh, so that's all I can do to make it as difficult as possible is be on very difficult. But since Lug Lug's a fucking demon lord, so far very difficult has been very easy. Ah, someone killed all the chickens. Who might be fucked up? Cool, you summoned a shadow beam. Too bad it was fucking pointless. Deacon! Sorry, Deacon, nothing yet. Oh, that be okay. Deacon be very confident that great hero comes true for Deacon in the end. That's how all great stories go. Maybe, maybe great hero need help from Deacon. Deacon help great hero gladly. Anything great hero wants. I could use some help. Why don't you travel with me? Nuh uh. Deacon stay right here and hide. If Deacon steps out, then Old Master swoop down on poor Deacon for sure and eats him. I certainly hope you weren't thinking of giving up Xanos to travel with Vermin Lug Lug. That would be insulting. You would not want that to happen to poor little Deacon, would you? I don't know, Deacon. You got a pretty pimp looking fucking sword there, little scaly bastard. Tamar Farrar is not gonna swoop down on you, I'm sure. You not know for sure. Old Master Old Grudge, long time. Centuries, or maybe more. Deacon not cost that long to live even. Deacon be very happy to follow around here like you. Once Deacon be free. Deacon even write great ballad in your honor. But um, not until then. You want Deacon to do something else for you maybe? What I want is the tower statue. Deacon already tells you. You'll get Deacon free from old master. And Deacon gladly give you a statue. Not before then, no. All right, have it your way. Let's go kill this fucking white dragon.
the Nether Mountains. Look at the evil badger! He's dead on Kelsey's nuts! Whatever the fuck that means. Right, they can be tricky. We should be wary of traps. I don't give a fuck about traps. I eat them for breakfast. sleeping on the job. Now you have time to sleep forever.
Ooh, a half-eaten corpse. Gross. That's grody. Tearing through these little pricks. Yeah, that's not a trap. I need to pull these levers in the correct order. Which would be northeast, southwest, southeast, northwest.
You ain't get no gate in my way, bitch. Ha ha, we tricked you, stupid. <laughs> oh, they thought they did. Got taken up by Bigsby, Bigsby uh, grasping hand or whatever the fuck it is. Get the fuck off the wall! What the fuck? Sweet, I'm stuck. I'm motherfucking stuck. It's awesome. What do you want? Are you goddamn fucking kidding me, dude? What do you want? This is so goddamn fucking stupid. All right, got to fucking reload because the game is a piece of shit. Decided to get me fucking stuck. I didn't feel like warping out of there and wasting the gym. And then backtracking. That's gay as hell. Yeah, I'm here, and I'm gonna kill all you son of a bitch. Bring it. Laying waste to the whole kobold underground cavern. This place is gonna smell like shit in about a week. Hell, probably in a day or two. Hell, it probably already smells like shit. What are you doing? I'm fucking killing you. Killing all you bastards. You're treating Deacon unfairly. About 3,000 experience away from my level.
got me, man! Get him! I'm gonna rip your head off! Master Jumper? Yep, yep. What are you doing here? You know, big cobalt. Them makes you prisoner like Master Jumper, yep. I'm not a prisoner. I was just exploring and killing all of your relatives. This be bad place to exploit, yep. This be present. You know, find good things in here, yep, yep. Except you found Master Jumper, and that be good thing, yep. What is Master Jumper? Yep, yep. I'd be Master Jumper. Me tell cobalt when they can go in and see Big Master. Me no likes many visitors, especially from kobolds. Lug Lug, I'm getting rather tired of kobolds. I just wish they were on touch more smarter. More like me than you. <laughs> yep, Master Jumper, let lots of kobolds go in, then Big Master eats Master Jumper and find new one. Me don't want to be eaten, so me tell Chief no. Yep, that be why Big Master puts a big rock in front of him cave. Well, yep, and to protect him. Yep, yep, that be funny, like Big Master need protect him. Tell me how to get in or else you're gonna fucking die! Yep, that what me trying to tell you. There be no way in unless me be prisoner no more. Yep, unless you gets me rod of ruler from chief. Then all other kobolds follow me. There's no more kobolds left. I've killed them all. If them follow me, then me can lift rock for you. If me not have rod, then me be too scared of chief to listen to me. Yep. To block an entire passage? That rock must be huge. What is the secret to lifting it? Big Master put rock in front of cave and have big thing that lifted. But years ago, one kobold broke machine so it would not work. Yep, now we got to get kobolds to jump on platform and make a big lifting thing work. We tried to use rock once, but them too heavy and hard to get out. Yep, kobolds be easy to get out of platform when Big Master visits over. Yep, so I tell kobolds jump and them jumps. It fun to watch, yep, but Chief take all fun away. Now Master not get no visitors. Where's the chief? Why shouldn't I just use the rod? Yep, care. Same reason chief can no use it. Kobolds not follow him. Them not follow you. Them follow Master Jumper. Yep, Big Master tells them so. Them just be scared now of chief. But they, they know the Big Master chose you. Why do you have to have the rod? Care. It's not so hot that you be making it. Rod of ruler means me be in charge without rod. Them other kobolds not know me for sure in charge. Yep. But, them know his chief not supposed to have rod, so them not follow him either, them just hide. Yep, if me comes to Big Rock and has rod, them will listen to me, that be only way. I'll go find the rod. It should be where the chief is, yep, yep. Was my kick ass ring a regen, yo? Oh, that's right, I got it on the other guy. I'm gonna rip your head off and <laughs>
You comes into my caves and kills my kobolds. Get my teeth long to tear out your throat. You dies now. Attack him. Good luck with that. Look, look, farted! Is this the rod? Here you go. Yep, you have the rod. How'd you get it from Chief? Yep, no, me really not want to know. Maybe we get newer, smarter Chief. Yep, now me helps you. Me get you big rock. Good, you makes it. You ready for jumping? Yeah! The Xanos must witness. Maybe there is a practical use for kobolds. Jumpers! Every kobold get ready, go! <laughs> Holy shit! Fucking lemmings! I could have just took a dump in that bucket. actually cast offensive spells. I'm impressed.
Good one. Way to fireball me, Xanos. Fucking dick nickel. Yeah, 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 I don't give a shit about a bunch of bolts of frost. Stampede time! Damn, I gotta get in line? Fuck this. Time for talk, dragon! Die! That's how love, love rolls, motherfucker! There's a more fun way to kill the dragon, though, so for now, we'll let the son of a bitch live. Are you timer for our So it knows my name, does it? How very interesting. Does this mean I've become famous in the world above? Have you come to worship me adoringly? No, your kind never does, does it? Not since the real olden days, of course. But let's not jest with ourselves. Those days are long over. I've always wondered why does your kind not mix blood with the elves, or the dwarves, or the gnomes? Now, there's a thought. Never mind. Keep your secrets. But enough of that. What else do you have with you? Hmm. A half-orc with bad taste in clothing, I see. What? 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 I'm to be judged by an overgrown lizard that lives in a cave? I think not. Mind your manners, little one. I've never found that poor taste equal poor taste. If you get my meaning, still, there is all the orcish blood to get past. Are you suggesting you would eat the great Xanos? Ugh, not unless I had to. That's for certain. And that's about it, is it? Mm -hmm. I wonder if I should be insulted or pleased at such a poor showing. So, what are you supposed to be, little half-orc man? I was thinking that you were perhaps the knight of a great kingdom, but then it occurred to me, 
I may as well ask. I may not be a knight, but I'm a warrior. I'm great and powerful. So what does that mean? I don't even rank a proper knight from an actual kingdom. <sighs> no offense, Warmling, but a dragon has to have his standards. At any rate, I realize this may not be your forte, Warmling, but you might indulge a bored dragon with a song, perhaps? The kobolds are simply awful at such things, you see. I'm not certain I'd be better than your kobolds. Well, in that case, forget I asked. I once had a troglodyte attempt to song and dance routine. That's, let's just say, the nightmares were not worth it. So, enough of what I want. I'd like to find out what you want, Warmling. Surely you came here for a reason. I want to talk about the artifacts you stole. Hmm. I must say that this entire business with the artifacts has been rather irritating. I never really needed them to begin with, and acquiring them was more di has been more difficult than I'd have liked. All that effort, for instance, and what do I end up with? A mass that I cannot even use. Jna lied about the power of these objects hold, and a great many other things as well, I am certain. Jna. <laughs> How the mere name of that creature fills me with bile. The sheer audacity. The temerity. It is an affront to my draconic stature, I tell you. Why? What did Jinnah do? Jinnah first approached me two moons ago, sending a letter introducing herself and making a proposal that she knew I would find hard to resist. There were magical artifacts of great power. Within easy reach. She said guarded by a dwarven wizard. Working together we could overcome him. All she desired in return for her aid, she claimed, was a single artifact. The rest I would keep for myself. Which artifact was that? A statue of a tower, I believe. Imagine now it's the only artifact with any real worth. I agreed to her terms and found out after my kobolds returned from the raid that she had dared to attack them. She tried to take all the artifacts for herself. But why attack you, if the deed was already done? I had sent in my kobolds early to take all the artifacts for myself. I had not planned on giving her shit, but she had a distinct gall to actually attack me for it. So you broke the deal with her? And what is the relevance of that? I wanted to see this statue myself before I even considered releasing it. Why would she want it after all unless it was the best? I am a dragon. I will not allow myself to be tricked by a mere lesser being. The fact that she attacked my minions only proves her deceitful intent. Any interesting justification? Xanos could hardly do better. It is not a justification, Havok. I do not need one to act as I wish. Indeed. Xanos could only hope for such power one day. Do not hold your breath. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Speaking to the Half-Orc one. Tell me, what do you know of Jinnah, little one? For all I know, you could have been sent by her. No, but I've heard of her. I see, that is good, for it gives me an idea. There is a saying amongst dragons warmly, and it goes thus. Sweet as blood, rich as flame, rarer than gold this deadly game. Do you know what it speaks of? Ah, uh, death? Life? Uh, no, no, it speaks of revenge, of course. Cold. Sweet revenge. I desire vengeance upon Jinnah. Kill her for me, little one, and you shall be rewarded. And just how would I be able to kill her? I will give you something that will make killing the sorceress much easier, of course. You did not think I would send you an empty hand, did you? What do I get for doing this? Now, that is a fair question, naturally. I would not expect you to perform such a feat on my behalf without some sort of compensation. Do you wish gold magic? What sort of reward interests you warmly? I want that mask artifact. And I want Deacon freed from your service. Ho ho ho! Suddenly my little Deacon enters the picture, does he? How very odd that you should suddenly bring up my little lost part. Ah. Oh. Poor Deacon. 
for such a little kobold, he has very big dreams. Very foolish dreams, to be sure, but dreams nonetheless. I should have never sent him away. But if you wish him freed, it will be done. That and other rewards as well, for his freedom is but a small, small thing. Now, will you do as I ask? Mm -hmm. And just where do I find this Jana? I will tell you where to find her naturally. Why not just kill her yourself? Ah, now, that is an excellent question. I imagine I very well could do such a thing. Hunt down the little villainess and exact my revenge personally. Jana, however, has superiors. Superiors who wield a great deal of power. I would rather not anger them if I can avoid it. Who are these superiors of hers? I do not know for certain. I can only suspect. Still, I would rather the risk be yours than mine. I am certain you understand. Very well, I agree. Such words are pleasant to hear. Very well, little one. A bargain it is. Ooh, Xanos is suddenly filled with excitement. Here, I am giving you a flask full of powder. Use it, Anjana, and she will be severely weakened. It plays havoc, you see, with her unique physiology. Another gift for you. This is a key. Do you see the square-shaped rock beside the wall? Use the key on it and you'll be brought straight outside. Head south of these mountains into the region you call the High Forest. There is a cave of gnaws there which Janar rules. Go and do what you must, Warmling. I wish you luck. Hmm. Will wonders never cease? If it isn't... Cool. All right, folks. That wraps it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Neverwinter Nights: Shadows of Undering Tide.